Hello everybody and welcome to the Complete Blender Creator. I'm Michael Bridges and I've already taken over 165,000 students from zero to hero using Blender. This course is being remastered in version 2.8 so you get all the juiciness of the brand new Blender version. But how are we going to accomplish this? Well we start off with the very basics. So over in section one we start getting you up to speed in Blender and using some of the basic tools that you will use throughout the rest of the course. And as you can see here, some of the models you're able to get with just the simplest of tools are pretty amazing. And then we move on to the second section where we start learning about box modeling, making low poly items. And this will give you all the key skills you need in order to make pretty much anything of a low poly variety. And sticking to just that block work, well that's no good. We're going to have to up our skills with the use of curves. And with those we're able to construct a very simple scene involving a bowling ball and pins. Then we move on to a much more complicated scene with more objects in it. Again, sticking to low poly so we can practice managing multiple assets in a scene, we're going to produce a low poly chest set. And as you can see here, we're gonna add textures as well as we go. Then possibly one of my favorite sections, the animated lamp section. This is where we um, mimic the famous lamp of Disney Pixar, and we actually learn how to rig and animate a basic rigid object like a lamp. And what the students have come up with is absolutely amazing and great fun to watch. And from there in section six, we'll cover game asset production. So we'll talk about the entire pipeline and make sure that any of the models that you make, you're able to use in game engines as well, which is an incredibly useful skill to have. The next session, the fluffy bunny section, is where we get to play around with meta balls to quickly mock up the shape of a bunny. Once we've done that, we experience Blender's particle systems, not only creating the hair for the bunny itself, but also the layout of the nature, the natural environment that the bunny is going to live in. After that, we've got the human head. So this is where we dive into the details of sculpting, being able to sculpt a human head. And then finally, we've got two bonus sections for you. One on destruction, where we get to bash a tank through a wall, playing with Blender's physics and animation system. And then finally, we blend real life footage with our CGI in the VFX section. Wow, this course contains so much and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you come up with. So why not join me and thousands of other students in becoming a master at Blender. See you soon.